You want to design using standard material sizes and standard fasteners. If you don't, your project is gonna end up being really expensive, full of custom componentry, or you're gonna be a low value employee for your employer. For example, three by three by three sixteenths inch angle is standard. You can buy it anywhere, but three by three by eighth inch angle is not. So know what's available and design using those materials. Similarly, know your fasteners and design using those. So there are two fasteners in particular that my students seem largely unfamiliar with, but they're important to know about because using tools like these, you don't have to design custom mechanisms to do what you need to do. So the first one I wanna talk about is the carriage bolt. The carriage bolt has no way to torque the head. Instead, it has a square extrusion that bites into the material. The utility of this is that once it's in place, you only need to access the threaded end, one side of the bolt to tighten it down. Another benefit of the carriage bolt is that the head is nice and smooth and low profile. So it's nice in applications where you don't wanna get your leg caught on something like a garden box. Or here I have carriage bolts on the inside of a barrel that I need to be smooth. Here's another example. If you use a standard hex head bolt on a bench, you'll have to counterbore the hole. But if you use a carriage bolt, then you can just pound it right into the top, no counterbore, because the head will be smooth. That's fewer machining operations. In today's market, you have to be able to design things with minimal machining operations in order to stay competitive. The other fastener we need to talk about is the shoulder bolt. Shoulder bolts have a shoulder between a threaded portion and a pin portion. This nice smooth shank is tightly tolerant and you can even buy them to be super tightly tolerant. And it is up to the designer how you use that smooth shank. It can be used as an axle for a wheel, as a locating dowel, or just a pin. I like using them as a simple wheel axle. All I need to do is make a tapped hole and I can screw in a shoulder bolt and there's my axle. I also like using them as joints. I can slip on a bronze bushing and then use them as a fulcrum. So I'm here if you have any questions, good luck. Mm -hmm.